Hey friends, I'm back again with the spiders. This is the latest addition to the colony. I showed her off the other day. She looked a little bit young and small. And I just have to say something here. I have noticed that my spider videos get about a fifth of the traffic that my other videos do. What's wrong with you Philistines? So, you know, it's like I'm putting all this work into the colony. I'm giving you the rare treat of actually being able to see these guys and nobody wants to see them. I just don't get it. Oh, isn't she handsome? Anyway, I gotta warn you, summer's coming on. I'm gonna have some students working with me. We're gonna have even more spiders to play with. I expect the number of spider videos to increase in the near future. So, brace yourself. So too bad if you don't want to watch them. I still want to make them. Now, one thing you will notice about this video is what's that in there with the spider? Yesterday when I came in, she was all curled up in the bottom of the vial. She was just all hunkered down and I was afraid, uh-oh, she's not going to make it. There's something wrong with her. But no, that wasn't it at all. When I came in this morning, what do I find? But what you see there is that's a spider molt. It's lovely. It's like a, it's like a little jewel. She just sort of peeled herself out of all this. I'm, I'm really sad that I missed an opportunity to record the whole event. But she just sort of pulled herself Apparently they split up the back and then she pulled her legs out of the old cuticle and she's out there. I don't know what she's going to do with it. I don't think they eat them. It's not the kind of thing a spider would eat. But she's very interested in that cuticle. I haven't been able to separate her from it yet. But it's just perfect in all the details. You can look at the patterns on the cuticle and you can see the the, the jaws and the chelicerae and the legs all perfect in there, except she's out. She looks a little different too. If you look at those legs, they don't have the reddish tinge that they did before. And they look a little bit more flexible. She may be a little bit rubbery legged still from, from the molt. And she hasn't fully darkened up yet. Oh, look, she's looking at us. Anyway, let's let's do the next thing, which is she's probably hungry. So I've got a little vial of flies waiting here for her. Let's dump those in. I'll be quick. There they go. She may not be fully recovered from her molt, so I don't know if she'll immediately launch herself at these flies, but we'll see. Where'd she go? She's in there somewhere. There she is. I think she noticed the flies, at least it peeled her away from the cuticle. She may be, not be firmed up enough to consume a fly yet, we'll see. Now you see, if you, if you watch these spider videos, you might get a chance to see some blood and gore and gladiatorial combat and all that kind of cool stuff. So, tune in. You can see she's on her little bit of cobweb right there. Come on. I wouldn't blame her if she's not hungry yet. Oh, but she's so handsome. Let me rotate a little bit, see what you
There's her abdominal pattern. That's all very nice. It's just her legs look a little odd to somebody who's been looking at spiders a lot lately. And there's her cuticle floating there. It's like that shed face hugger and alien. It's just all there. Very nice. And there's my beautiful girl just waiting for a fly or waiting for her cuticle to harden so she can yeah. deal with it. Normally when I throw flies in on, on these spiders, they're immediately after them wrapping them up and webbing. But I think maybe she's still recovering. Which means if I'd gotten up early and come in here this morning, I could have gotten a video of the molding process. Darn. Next time. Yeah, let's just let's just try and get a good shot of this gorgeous spider. As those of you who have watched these videos before know, and as those of you who shun my spider videos don't know, I grow these in these vials, these um, three centimeter diameter vials. So it's a little tube, and so I can rotate it, get the video, get a good shot of the spiders. Although, as you also notice, we also get those reflections off the side of it. Okay, I think she's still recovering, so I'm going to let her just rest. So let's just leave her here. I'll, come, I'll leave her with her flies. I'm sure when I come in tomorrow, they will be consumed, because that's what they do. Let's hope she gets around to laying some eggs or something. Although she, again, she's still kind of young. We'll see. Okay, that's been fun. Don't avoid my spider videos. They're not that scary. And the, the animals in them are just gorgeous. Okay, talk to you all later.